hey everyone welcome to my new tutorial in this video I will show you how to create a material takeoff as you can see here and uh, before we get started I want to tell you about actually what is the point of material takeoff actually it's pretty self-explanatory but um, actually you want to use that tool material takeoff when you have some system families that have a lot of layers so for example your wall so if I select my wall and go to as you can see that is my exterior wall and go to edit type go to edit here as you can see I have uh, I have a lot of layers so I have my finish layers two of them I have thermal layers I have structure layers and so on and uh, uh, for my floors that goes the same so even that one it's my exterior floor and uh, I have the floor for the kitchen as you can see over here that is my wet floor and there I have if I can select I have my main floor <clears throat> so I have a good deal of floors so that is the reason why I want to create the material takeoff for floors uh, how you can do that? What is the what is the sequence of actions actually? First of all, you have two options how you can create this. You can find it over here on your project browser. You can right click and here you can find new material takeoff. The second option you can go to the view and here you have your schedules and here you have your material takeoff. I prefer using that one. For me it's a little bit faster to go with material takeoff. So uh, our category, what I want to be that floors. So here we go, floors. Now is the time to understand what we want to include there, what we want to have in our you know, schedules, because it is really important. You know, the brilliance of Revit uh, or just BIM program that you can actually build a model, you, cr you can create a model and then you can extract and get all of the materials out of that model so you'll be able to actually build build that model you know so uh, let's say I want to have my family and type I want to include my levels so for me it's going to be easier to understand so on the first level I need to have these types of materials and on the second levels I need to have uh, these types and how much do I need them and uh, there and as you can see here you, we have a lot of these material fields as you can see we have material area material as paint comment cost and so on and so forth and actually i want to include a couple of them so of course i want to have my material area i want to have my material cost i want to have material name material volume and uh, let's say uh, I'm not satisfied with the order you can easily click on for example I want my name to be first uh, of this material section so you can move that up by using these arrows uh, name um, area maybe volume and then cost yeah and that's pretty much it but as you can see here over here you have the option you have the avail one of one of the available fields is that you have that option cost and actually you have your material cost and you have your just cost uh, what is the difference I'm gonna include that but uh, we're gonna be deleting that later on but I'll just just to tell you just to show you what is the problem of this of it so go ok now you have your materials actually I have one of these default floors that was for this part actually of the building and I don't want to include this so let's say you don't want to include something out of this you can easily go to filter and here you can go with I want to have like for example I want to filter that by material name and uh, let's say I want to have everything but this default floor right so you can simply go does not contain and you can type here default and go OK and there you go you got rid of it uh, so the first thing uh, first things first I want to sort that so when you got into that schedule into that material takeoff you, you always want to kind of sort sort that by your needs so for example I want just have just separate materials 
so to uh, to separate them you need to go to sorting grouping and uh, here you can go with uh, by material name so I want to know how much I need damp proofing old flooring concrete and so on and so forth so basically go with material name I don't care about ascending or descending uh, you can go with header you can include header footer and let's include all of them and go OK also what you can include is that uh, grand totals you can include even this one so that will have this grand total the total number of all of these uh, and uh, as you can see we have our family and type so main floor ex oops main floor exterior floor uh, we have our levels we have the material that we need to use we have the area of that material we have the volume of that material and we have the material cost actually that one i think I, i've done that in the project but it's not a big deal so for example let's say what is the difference between the material cost and just cost so if i kind of un uh, you can undock it and kind of make it something like that so you will have this onto windows or i think the uh, the better way would be to just click uh, the combination of W and T uh, it doesn't work with actually yeah it, it doesn't work with schedules I think or it works let me sh okay W T yeah it works so there we go so let's say that you let's kind of make it smaller let's say that you you can s actually how you can find your materials here so you can select that material so for example that one and you have that material so or even go with maybe uh, wet floor so we have our wet floor here in the kitchen so you can easily go let's say I'll, I'll I'm gonna change the cost to 100 for example 100 the, uh, the change will be applied to all elements of type yeah okay it will be okay and now uh, here we have that floor and if I go to edit type here I have cost of that floor and it's set to 100 actually in our case is not something that we want because usually you want to have the price for material per per, per square meter or per cubic meter right so in that case that doesn't work uh, like it works but it doesn't serve its purpose actually in that case so we can easily kind of now we can close that and here, we, if you're not satisfied, if you kind of want to change something, if you want to delete some columns out of your schedule, you can easily go back to fields and uh, you can kind of move that back and go OK. And there you go. So, for example, the first thing, uh, the first thing that you need to understand is that, for example, you have some oak flooring and you have your gravel and concrete so i want to have my concrete i want to have my gravel uh i want or i want to have my yeah concrete and gravel in that case so i want that price to be by cubic meter right and uh some materials like travertine over here like oak flooring like damp proofing I want that to be to be uh, I want the cost to be determined by uh, square meter so how can you make these tweaks so in that case uh, actually let's create uh, two schedules two takeoffs so how uh, to take take offs of the materials so let's kind of copy that one so right click and go to uh, go to not go to duplicate and uh, that one let's call that rename let's call that it's going to be by area and and the second one will be by volume right so it's going to call area uh rename volume there we go so let's go to the area so let's deal with uh, with everything actually we're gonna be working a lot on filters because so I don't want to have here so it's gonna be by area so I don't want to have here concrete 
and I don't want to have here uh, this gravel. So you can easily go to uh, filters and go again. Let's go with material name. It does not contain works pretty good in that in that case. So go with does not. You can go with does not begin with, but does not contain way way much better in that case. So you can type in gravel and again material by name uh, does not contain. And you can go with uh, concrete. Click OK. There you go. You have your oak flooring. Uh, this is some sort of an insulation. I just don't want to slaughter the pronunciation of it. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, and then proofing. So there we go. And here we don't have, we don't need to have this kind of a column, this material volume. So let's go to the uh, uh, fields and let's move volume out of this. There we go. So now we have just the materials that we want to have uh, to be calculated by square meter. We have the area of that material and now the cost. You can change the cost, but I've shown you where the cost of the whole floor is located. But where is that located actually? The material for that, for the ceramic tile. So you can again kind of uh, open up your 3D, for example, go with WT. And here you have your wet floor, for example, go to edit type, go to edit. And this is the price for a uh, ceramic tile. So you can go here and um, on this identity, you can see product information and here you have manufacturer, model, cost, and under cost, you have the cost of the material. So that is, that, that how, that, that's how you can input this information. So now let's uh, now we need to just determine the price of it. Then proofing, let's be thirty. I don't care about that about the prices. We just need to let's make it something like that. Fifty, okay. That is going to be maybe thirty again. And that travel time, let's make it fifty. And that ceramic, make it seventy. For example, yeah. Now what you need to do is to, let's change the look of it. You can select that column, uh, change the uh, horizontal to the center. The same goes for that one. And there we go. Now you can uh, actually create a new parameter. But before that, uh, if you want to set these things up in terms of how, how do they look, how, in terms of their look, uh, you can uh, go to the um uh, formatting here for example this material area so you can go here you can go with calculate totals uh, and it'll calculate totals here and uh then you can actually you can make some tweaks to the alignment over here and over here as well you can actually also you can uh, go to the field format and here as you can see this is my um project settings but if you don't have this one so you can uncheck use project settings and maybe you can add some decimal places you can you uh, can you suppress trailing or use digit uh, grouping so yeah go okay and okay and here we go we have our totals numbers and uh we change the look of it and the same you can go you can use for the material cost again to the formatting material cost uh, you can go to the field formatting and check this use project settings and you can go with two decimal use some symbol maybe let's go with uh, I don't know with dollars uh, You can you can even check these ones, but actually yeah, so in, in that case that, that 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 will do actually so now it's time to create this parameter that will actually uh, that it will be calculating our cost for this uh, area because now is the cost just for per one uh, square meter So what do you need to do here is to go to the fields here you have the option to add calculated parameter so click here I'm gonna name this one um, Cost by area for example or 
yeah, let, 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 let's leave that as that. And what is really important is to change the type of this parameter because actually you don't want to have the number, you want to have the currency because it's going to be the currency, right? It's going to be the cost of it. And formula, use these three dots, they will help you a lot. So use these three dots and you want to your cost, so select your cost, asterisk sign, and uh, you, can, you need to multiply that by your area. And to normalize the units, what do I mean by normalizing the units? Actually, your cost is currency, your material area is square meters. So uh, to kind of get rid of this, uh, to kind of get rid of this uh, square meters, you need to divide that by one meter. Uh, you need to create, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So that'll work in our case. So if I go OK, and now if I go OK, here we go. We have that number multiplied by that one. And you again can, you can uh, do all of the tweaks over here, as I said before. You can go to your cost by area, make the alignment to the uh, center, heading orientation, your vertical. Actually, it should be to the center, but it's not OK. You need to go, go to cost by area. Let's go to center, uh, change, maybe calculate totals if you want that. Of course, we want that. Go to the fillet format, uncheck this use project units, uh, go with two decimal places, change the sign, the symbol, and go with these ones and go OK. There we go. So now you have, so now you have actually the, the cost of each material. Actually, if you even want to, I'm going to show you one little trick here. If you want to uh, kind of emphasize some of the numbers. So for example, numbers that are more than like two thousands or three thousands, you know. Uh, uh, so how you can do that, you need to go to cost by area again. And here you have this conditional format and you can go with okay cost by area tax for example uh, greater than and let's change that to maybe um, mm, 2000 right so go with, or maybe 3000 yeah go with 3000 yeah and then what you can do is to change the background color for it so let's make it red and go with okay and okay and there you go there is one cool option that you that you have to kind of mark off the numbers that you want. Actually, I don't want to clock this video and create uh, for volume because it's pretty much the same. You just need to go to filter, filter all of the numbers, uh, filter everything that you want actually in terms of like by uh, filter by material name. So you need to understand what you don't want to contain. Uh, uh, what do you uh, what do you what do you want to include in your mm, schedule and what you don't want to include actually so and that's it and then you just kind of play around with these numbers but here you have and yeah that's actually pretty much the same so yeah just try it out maybe you have some project just try it out make some tweaks maybe make the representation of it it's up to you actually so that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and uh, have a nice day.